Welcome back to the Black Hills and Eastern River, everybody. As you guys know, I attended the train show, Trains of Christmas, in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, in November 2024, put on the, by the Sioux Valley Model Engineer Society. Um, and I gave uh, a preview to that. I'll link to that in the description, as I will the um, the recap episode that I'm going to do um, that as it becomes available here. But what I wanted to do in this episode, quick like, is give you a, a run through on what I. Uh, my purchases from the uh, show, I was looking for several items on the list, uh, some some items for myself and a uh, couple of items for other guys. I was successful in one of those and uh, probably knocked off a few f uh, of items from my list. So let's get started. So day number two, I was able to uh, pick up some... Uh, Woodland Scenics, uh, these are ground foam, different colors, different textures, um, at a pretty good rate, and uh, and I know that uh, these will be consumable, and we'll probably go through quite a few of these once we get started on scenery on the main and upper levels on the layout here in southeast South Dakota. Then, a couple of trucks, uh, cab overs, um, the trucks of my youth, that maybe shows how old I am. Um, but I've got a plan for at least one of these. Um, you'll probably be seeing that here on the channel coming up. Um, I'm not sure when I'll get to this. I've got a lot of other things to do, but I've kind of had in mind a project for this, and I, I had earmarked uh, the Herpa Promotex, uh, the cab over, specifically a cab over truck, and maybe that might give you an idea of what I'm thinking of doing, but uh, I'm thinking that one, uh, the green one, the BN one might stay green, but Probably the uh, white one, the light colored one may get redecorated. And then I was able to score a terrific deal on this vintage. This is an open box, but I'm sure it's all there. Uh, vintage uh, Dairy Queen. Uh, when we were in Munising, uh, Michigan uh, this summer on vacation, we ran across a, uh, a Dairy Queen that I thought was a dead ringer for this. Comparing pictures, it's a little bit different, but it's close enough that uh, every, anybody would look at it and say, yeah, that's the same building. And it really is pretty close. So I've wanted one of these for a long time. I've had it on the list, so I finally got a good deal. I got a screaming deal on this one. And then I got a screaming deal on an Atherin Genesis model. Um, I've been looking for power for the C&W uh, Sioux City Yard, and so that eliminates what that is. So any guesses what model I came by? Uh, I've been looking for probably something lower horsepower, uh, like a MP15 from Atlas or a GP15-1 from Atherin, and also in the Genesis line. I came by a GP50. Um, I know that's a little bit big and a little bit powerful, maybe slippery for the job of, uh, of a low-power uh, or actually low speed and uh, high drag type uh, transfer freight uh, locomotive, but you know what? Uh, the price on this was unbeatable, and so I picked this one up. This one I don't believe has ever even been run. So at some point in the channel, we'll probably walk through getting this thing uh, onboarded and onto the layout. Day two, uh, Atherin Blue Box uh, 54 foot grain cars. Um, these cars uh, came on metal wheels and uh, knuckle couplers. Uh, the uh, I see one of the trucks is wrong on this. It's uh, actually a caboose truck. But you know what? The price was right on these uh, for metal wheels and knuckle couplers. Uh, I'm not going to complain too loud. And just to add interest to a uh, grain train, uh, this is what we want. And you know what? I'd never seen a uh, Sioux City, Iowa uh, grain terminal car before. Um, just to, add, just to add interest and variety to a grain train. So then I mentioned that I was on the lookout for some pieces for uh, buddies of mine and uh, yeah, not the least of which uh, the ELS equipment, uh, Escanaba Lake Superior, a couple of box cars, and an RS12. That's a uh, that's a bald one for the, those of you in the back of the classroom. Um, did not find any of that, and didn't really expect to. Asked around a little bit, and nobody seemed to have any good leads on that. Um, I'll probably end up putting that out to HO Swap. But if any of you guys are uh, in the know about any about the whereabouts of uh, either Wal Walter's box cars, or I believe that's a Bowser model, that RS12. Um, well, let us know in HO scale. Um, and then when I was successful in finding, um, I picked up this uh, helium car for my buddies, uh, John and David over at Two Rail Fans, uh, that YouTube channel. Go ahead and check those guys out. Um, I'll put a link to those guys in the description below as well. Um, I'll be sending this on to Texas uh, to those guys uh, as soon as uh, this uh, uh, get done wrapping up this uh, this flip here. 
Then, um, Walther's uh, center beam, 72 foot center beam loads. Um, I've got a plan for this. Um, it just reminded me that I wanted to get going on um, a project that I have. I'll show you this later. Trucks and stuff, uh, dry bulk trailer and uh, truck. Uh, I've been looking for one of these for quite a while. I started out looking for these things when they were out in brass and uh, it was probably five, 600 bucks for the truck and trailer and I was not going to pay that. Uh, these are from Trucks and Stuff now. I picked this up from uh, Teske's Trains, John Teske out of Wasika, Minnesota. I uh, got a screaming deal on this. Um, buddy of mine, uh, uh, I guess brother Eric, uh, mentioned that you know the with the level of shine coming off that trailer and truck that uh, you know those owner operator guys are pretty proud of their stuff but I think I'm going to knock that shine down just a little bit that, that I think that needs some dull coat sorry guys speaking of trucks 40 foot evergreen container ship it on the Frisco America's resourceful railroad I, I'm addicted to these roundhouse cars. These are really well done. Um, the printing is nicer than on Atherton cars most of the time. And these are, this is just a really looking, neat looking car. Uh, this will probably be weathering practice, but you know what? Who cares? From one Mr. Rick Mills, a, another BN annual. This is a uh, 74, 75. Um, I have fun looking through the articles in these things. Uh, not so much the, uh, uh, the research value of it, but there's a lot of good articles on how things were done back in the, and, and special projects that were going on on the railroad. Uh, this particular one um, on the cover is an old Great Northern locomotive. I, I don't remember what they call that. There's a couple of different uh, uh, configurations they had of these things, but these were uh, basically a switch engine set up for, uh, uh, for passenger service. And then finally, last but not least, um, I picked up a 3 rail O. Uh, box car. This is from Weaver, and I got, as you can see here, I got a screaming deal on this. This is right at the end of the show. Um, I've been looking for some BN equipment for our under the tree. Uh, I don't know if you'd call it a layout, but um, we've got that circle of track with the uh, with the uh, Lionel starter set on it, and I've been looking for some BN equipment. I'd rather have a caboose, but I got a deal on this, so this is what we got. Thanks for following me through my train show loot purchases, and uh, hope you uh, like the content here. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe for more, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.